One of the many ways to get your post noticed is to use a picture. Let's talk about that right after this. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. First off, a quick reminder for you to go vote on Tuesday, June 28th for the Oklahoma statewide primary. Now, many of you will be listening to this after that day, so hopefully you all voted. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the political calendar. If there is a need for a runoff for this primary on Tuesday, that will be held on August 23rd. The next big election day here in Oklahoma is not until November 8th for the general election. The Republican National Convention will be held on July 18th through the 21st, and the Democratic National Convention will be held July 25th through the 28th. For all you political junkies out there, July promises to be entertaining, to say the least. I'll have links to all this important information in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Be it on your blog or on social media, one of the many ways to get your post noticed is to use a picture. The more relevant the picture to your post, the better, but that's not always the case. Sometimes you'll just use a picture for some visual interest. You might have a long post about some topic and you can't even think of or even have an image to go with it. So you can include some generic picture like a field of flowers or a geometric pattern just to keep your post from looking bland. <laughs> when I post, I like to include a related picture even if it's just vaguely related. For my daily journal-like posts, I will usually will use my webcam, take a selfie, apply some interesting filter to it, and I'll use this picture to, in a small way, express the mood of the post. If I don't do that, I'll often search for some related humorous animated GIF or some other image to apply to the post. And if I don't do that, I have a small library of clip art available just for this exact reason. So everything I post on my blog has an image to go with it. I don't think I'm telling you anything new here. It's just sometimes you'll visit someone's blog and it's post after post of just text. Now there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just by adding a picture, even if it's just every third post, will break up the monotony of all that text. It will keep your visitors visually interested and keep them from coming down with the dreaded TLDR syndrome. Too long, didn't read. <laughs> if you're unsure of what image to use with your post, in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net, I'll share some links to some great sources for images you can freely use. So hopefully this little picture tip will help you out. Here are the top five things I purchase on my weekly grocery runs. Number five, cans of tuna. If we're out of tuna, we're out of food. <laughs> Number four, mac and cheese. The good stuff, not that dry powdery stuff. <laughs> Number three, whole wheat sandwich bread. No gluten-free diet here. Number two, blocks of cheese. We go through a lot of cheese. <laughs> and the number one thing that I'm always purchasing on my weekly grocery runs Lots and lots of cat food. Cats. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is take a picture and write an interesting story about it. I look forward to reading it. Speaking of pictures and posts, over on my own blog at programwitch.com, I share a little object lesson about looking carefully at a picture before you use it on a post. I'll have a link to it in the show notes. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Did you know we have our own Cafe Press store? Of course you do. I mention it in every episode. But if you're new here, hey, we have our own Cafe Press store. 
There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over nine and a half hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify or on YouTube. I have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of July 26, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 905 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.